What's up guys? So I just got these footprint shoes in the mail today and we're gonna test them out. I'm gonna try to make a detailed video about these shoes because there's no good videos about any of the footprint shoes, but especially about the Jaws shoe because I've seen Jaws video about these shoes and it was a waste of my time to watch. I mean, there was no information in the video at all. So we're gonna try to be a little more detailed than that video. Uh, this shoe absorbs 91% of shock energy. It says that twice. So we've got a built-in heel cradle, built-in arch support, and the same shock absorber used by NASA in the ISS. And then it tells us that it's in the outsole because obviously it's not in the insole. Oh man. Oh man, there are two insoles in this thing. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I didn't even know there was like an extra heel absorbing insole in there. And then we've got this really thin insole. This is a thick sole though. I'm not sure how the board feel will be. Let's go ahead and test them out. I don't want to talk about them anymore until we've really tested them out. Okay, one more quick look at the shoe just to see what it looks like when it's new because it's not going to look like this for very long. I'm really glad I pulled the insole out because it felt really thick when I walked around the house in those shoes. And I'm taking these out. I don't need these. There's already enough shock absorption in these shoes. I brought some Band-Aids. I need to put band-aids on like all of my toes because I wore these around the house and they're just too tight. So they started to rub blisters on all of my toes immediately. I know I say that a lot, uh, that I buy my shoes too tight and I have to because when I'm skating, if my shoes are loose, I end up rolling my ankle. It's just how my feet work. I have to have my shoes really tight and then stretch them out. So this shoe has a thick sole, but it's also really soft. And I don't feel like I'm gonna roll my ankle. I don't feel like I'm like popping over. I feel like if I land on the side of my foot, uh, it's gonna be fine. They're definitely really soft and comfortable, except for, you know, rubbing my toes just a little bit. I think it's a good looking shoe. Definitely better looking than the last pair of footprint shoes that I had. There's already been one instance where I fell really hard on this rail because right before I popped, I felt my feet sliding around in this shoe. It's really hard to tell because this Canon camera doesn't have very good dynamic range. I'll brighten it up and focus a little bit, but there's a lot of play going on in the top part of the shoe to the point where I have to lace it up really tight and double knot the shoe. It just kind of feels like a sock. It's so soft. Shoes like these Vans, Kyle Walker 2s, and these Vans Wavies have a lot more structure to them. They feel like an actual shoe, more like a cup sole shoe. This, it, it's just so soft in the upper and it just stretches out so quickly. There was also another time where I landed kind of funny and I felt like I was gonna roll my ankle and I can't really afford to have that happen right now. I have to make these videos to be able to pay bills and stuff like that. I'm not gifted enough to just hate uh, on different pro skaters for a living like Joa. I think this shoe does have the ability to be a good shoe for some people. If you have a really muscular, thick foot that you just need a thin slipper type shoe on, uh, you don't need a lot of protection as far as the top part of your foot or stability. I, I'm kind of into cup sold. Uh, really thick stable shoes right now as soon as I put these Kyle Walker 2s back on I instantly felt better so they're just more stable especially in the heel there's more support and for heel flips and stuff like that it's great it's you're not gonna roll your ankle in this shoe well everybody's feet are different so you could possibly have a totally different kind of foot so I've been the manager of three different shoe stores and I've measured my feet on a Brannock they measure 11 and a half and they measure a 4E, so they measure really wide. I've had a lot of experience measuring feet. So during the summer, my hands, my feet, my shoulders, my arms kind of thin out a little bit. I lose weight there before I lose it in my stomach and stuff like that. It's holding on. My body's actually holding on to the fat in my stomach because of the food shortages that Biden keeps warning us about. So in these Kyle Walker 2s, I've got actual remind insoles. So I've got some arch support and I could feel it immediately. There was definitely a difference 
in the two shoes. I'm trying to untie all of these knots that I tied in this, uh, trying to make it tight enough. There we go. So I already got a size smaller than I actually measure in this shoe, and it's still that thick, just because it really stretches out. I feel like it was almost used when I got it and stretched out. The sole's pretty good. It's definitely grippy, and it's very soft and flexible, as you can see. This, is, this shoe is probably one of the most flexible skate shoes I've ever skated. It feels like a barefoot shoe, but it's really thick. Personally, I like the sole on the Kyle Walker a lot better. It's my favorite shoe. I especially like the heel on this shoe better than any shoe I've ever skated. For me, this shoe gives you a little bit better grip than anything else that I've ever tried. So yeah, I know, I'm definitely a Vans fanboy, uh, but I'll say some good things about this shoe as well. So as far as impact support, I landed Primo a few times and I didn't feel anything at all. The actual insole is really thin, but it is made out of that patented footprint impact support material. Uh, but what's actually absorbing the impact is the, the midsole. You can feel the entire midsole is made out of that same material. So as long as you land perfectly flat footed, not on the side of your foot at all, on this shoe, the impact protection is phenomenal. You're not gonna feel anything. Maybe that's how Jaws is. Maybe he lands perfectly. Maybe he's really flat footed. He doesn't like any arch support and just lands perfectly every time. If you're like that, this shoe's gonna be great. But I'm not like that at all. I'm a normal human being that has flaws and I'm just gonna hurt myself in this shoe. Just doing regular kick flips, I felt like I was gonna roll my ankle. I can barely kick flip in it. It kind of over flips most of the time. It's really grippy up on the suede. I just couldn't get used to it. When I set out to make this video, I talked about how I was gonna make this great video where I was really gonna test this shoe out, but I'm giving up. I hate this shoe, I can't do it anymore. Every time I went to put this shoe on and make a video or film a clip, I was just physically angry and I'm gonna have to go back to my Vans. I'm sorry, I just can't do it. Some people might really like this shoe, but for me, I think I'm gonna get hurt. I'm scared. I'm, I'm actually scared to skate in this shoe. For my, the way my feet are, I just can't do it. The worst basketball players always come to the court closest to the skate park so their ball always bounces down here constantly. It's usually the people that don't make any shot that take the first space there. I don't know how many times they've said the word bro over there, but I am going to be selling these shoes on eBay. I'll have a link in the description below if you want to check them out. I can't believe that I'm not giving a positive review to this shoe because the last pair of footprint shoes I had was more of like a cup sole and I really really like them you can check out my video just search footprint shoes and my name and you'll be able to find it but yeah i just couldn't do it with these i am really spoiled by vans and people tell me all this bad stuff about vans that i shouldn't skate them for this or that but it's it's the only thing i can skate i would have to quit skateboarding if i didn't skate them so they had plenty of cushion. I did have some heel pain when I was wearing these shoes, when I was just wearing them around and when I was skating in them. It's because I didn't need cushion. I needed support and they didn't have a lot of support. Really flimsy shoe. I just needed a stiff insole. And if I put an insole in these shoes, they were already so thick with the midsole that I would definitely sprain my ankle. I have to have a really thin shoe. There has to be almost no midsole and then a good arch support as far as an insole for me. So yeah, I don't have many clips for this video, but that's all I'm going to get. If you're interested in buying these, check out the link in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, scroll through my page, check out some of my other videos. I've got a lot more videos like this on this page, including another footprint review. I don't remember what the shoe's called, but you can find it. It's a cup sole. And hit that subscribe button because I've got a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching. Music is really hard. I've been trying to record a song for the last like three hours and I've got absolutely nowhere. And like I do in all my videos now, I want to do a shout out to this clean canteen pitcher that actually purifies some of the microplastics out of your water. I think it's important to purify the microplastics out of your water before you drink it because, you know, it can raise your estrogen levels, lower your testosterone levels, and nobody wants that. Those higher estrogen levels can cause cancer, so you don't want that. We got to keep an alkaline body. And Clean Canteen makes a really nice container uh, if you want to pour that purified water in there. So like always, I've got links in the description if you want to check this out.